Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Sorry about the angle. Um, I have a video explaining all that happened, so yeah, I'm sorry. I prefer the focus usually to be on the cards and so you can see them, but um, it is what it is unfortunately. So let's see i'll use the romance angels first and then the mythical tarot deck there okay so let's see what we have going on for aquarius this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay so you have somebody in mind or somebody has you in mind here i feel like getting to know each other okay so as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so it feels like you've already met somebody oh lovely this is a romance of a lifetime true love aquarius so um your feelings are real there um this is a true love this is the person you seek you know who it is okay so it feels like you may have um, an opportunity to spend some time together um, to conversate to get to know each other here so let's see Aquarius with the main deck here what the messages are they have been coming out um, pretty long and pretty deep so bear with them it is the lion's gate from 26th of July till 12th of August, so peaking at 8 8 Lionsgate. So, yeah, um, they have been pretty deep. Oh, the sun! Wonderful positive energy flowing in for you guys during Leo season. Um, this is a big fat yes. Is this the one? If that was your question, that's a big fat yes here. Okay, Knight of Swords there as well. So if you was asking in this reading, are they the one for me? I just want a sign that they're the one. This sun card is a big fat yes, okay? Yes, you have already met the person you seek here. And I feel like um, you want to talk to them or they want to talk to you. They're rushing in here. It's like a sense of urgency to take action, um, to be with the one, to talk to, I feel like, to talk to um, the person you consider the one. I feel like, um, you know, the more you talk to him, the more your bond deepens, so the more it's, you know, like this, this true love here. So, wow, let's see then. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's definitely action being taken with it being a knight of swords here. Uh, it could be you, could be another air sign that you're dealing with. Um, but here I feel like action's needed, a conversation is needed to... Um, get to know each other deeper. Um, so I feel like action will be taken with the sun here. You gain clarity. So from this communication, you know, you gain enlightenment, even healing here. Um, positivity comes in with this person and this conversation. So I feel like a lot rides on this conversation for you guys. So it's like a lot riding on the back of this horse here with the night so a lot goes on with this conversation it brings healing it brings depth four of swords healing major healing going on here um you needed some time alone you've backed off into the shadows here um maybe some truths came out you know it could have been quite hurtful that you needed to heal from this OK, because it seems like there's a lot of healing going on here, but you've also gained a lot of clarity from this. So um, some truths may come out that are quite painful, but it also deepens your bond with this person. I feel like it, the love is very strong between you both. Yes. You know, um, I do feel like one of you has backed off into the shadows. It may be you as it swords there. Um, but I do feel like one of you is like backed off into the shadows there, um, spending time on their own. They could be with another person, actually. 
as I said, that looked what I turned over, three of cups. So, and that's because I've seen in the window, um, you know, a lady and a child. So it could be um, that they have a family to take care of or something like that. Could be that um, they have another person, but I feel like they're on their own and maybe this is what's on their mind. Um, if they come to the light, if they come to the sun here, um, you know, they get healing and clarity and they're able to heal this situation. Here, it's like they're not moving. Here with the Knight of Swords, they need to take action, especially if they want to reunite with this Three of Cups. So this is somebody you already know because it says you already met the romantic partner you seek. So it does seem like you want to heal this situation and um, come together here. This is about a coming together, this Three of Cups. So it's like wanting to come together um, with who you consider the one for you, okay? So action is needed in order to um, reunite with this person. You've got to take action or maybe even speak up if that's what you want, Aquarius. So let's see. Oops. Hierophant. Okay, so it's about a divine partnership here. Definitely like a true love. Um, a coming together um, divine lesson as well here. So I definitely feel like it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Um, and you're, if you have been in separation a long time from this person, I feel like you're almost ready to make a move, Aquarius. Um, or they're almost ready to speak their truth to you, something to come out to you, reveal something to you. I want to be with you. Something's going to be revealed to you here. I feel that in itself brings healing for you. That conversation brings healing for you. Because um, the Knight of Swords is, he gets out his truth. Um, he needs to work on how it's delivered. So, hmm, how do you do that? You know, how do you work on your delivery there, Aquarius? Let's see, you know, it's something they or you have got to do. It's just how the message is delivered that I feel... Um, is the issue because I feel like you're going to speak the truth or they're going to speak the truth and it's like the delivery there's a problem with the delivery page of cups yeah this is a love message coming in hmm so they owe you an apology on how they delivered the truth or something here or whatever they did to hurt you that needed healing it could be a third party situation with the three of cups obviously um but the more you talk about it i feel like the more you understand it like the more you get to think about it you know um the deeper you go into this conversation the more healing comes from it the more clarity comes from it so you could rush in with the Knight of Swords thinking you know everything and, um, you know, be stopped short with the Four of Swords, um, like, hold up. Because the Four of Swords is no movement, it's resting. So I feel like you could feel like you have um, all the truth you need to know and then you rush in and take action and then you're brought to a standstill. And it's maybe because maybe you don't know everything. So you've got to maybe learn to um, listen as well here. OK, um, maybe compassionately with the page of cups there. OK, um, maybe open heartedly. Could be a Pisces for some, a Leo, um, but they could be younger as well. Um, it could be even like your children or something here because, you know, a page energy. So maybe listen if it's, you know, your children who are trying to tell you something here. OK. Listen with your heart, I would say, rather than um, this Knight of Swords energy, because I feel like that just brings you to a standstill. The only thing you want to 
um, do with the Knight of Swords energy is actually take action. Don't communicate with it. Just let that make you hurry up and take action or, or let them hurry up and take action. Don't come into it like, oh, I was right. Because um, it sort of brings the situation to a standstill with the four of swords there. And I feel like all you or they want to do is get out the words and tell them, you know, this is what happened. And um, I want to work together. I want to, you know, fix this because, you know, we have this love here. We have this partnership. So... How do we heal this? First, we've got to have clarity. We've got to have the truth here. So as the truth is revealed and we get to know the truth and we get to know each other and we reveal deeper things, it's like then the bond deepens here. Then, you know, it can come together like this, this partnership here. So I feel like you or them owe an apology. Okay, three turned over in my hand. Let's have a look at them. So we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, and we have um, the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands here, um, the 11-11 Lionsgate, right? Um, so I feel like it's, if you want to sort this out, it's like um, the doors open, okay? Um, the gates open at this time. I feel like what can happen is you can hold yourself back overthinking. So if you're waiting for this breakthrough, but you get a breakthrough, you get this, you know, bolt of lightning. Ah, OK, I get it. I get some enlightenment. And then you want to sit around and think some more. The gate may close. OK, the opportunity may pass you by there so i feel like you need to communicate um maybe your feelings with the page of cups um maybe that you're sorry with the page of cups that you have boundaries with the four of wands there and those boundaries are there for a reason they're healthy okay um maybe you communicate look i needed time off i needed to heal um, maybe you need to say, what you said hurt me, what you did hurt me. Maybe you need to tell them, look, I need to slow this thing down. It's going too fast for me. This is too fast. So let's just slow it down, hold a little bit here. Um... But like I say, this could be a danger of um, having your breakthrough, but still being held back in true Aquarius fashion of overthinking. Oh, I got an answer. I got the communication, but I'm going to think about it a bit more. Indecision is a decision. It tells another person um, that... You know, I'm no longer interested in action tells per a person, you know, I'm not going to take any action towards you. Um, this is could be what you're feeling that uh, oh, this person hasn't taken action towards me. So I got my answer. They don't want me. That's how it's coming across. Like, OK, I'm going to be happy on my own. I'm, I'm just happy with my thoughts. I'm content here, living my life, minding my own business. Um I don't think you're happy in this, though. But maybe what you're telling yourself or people, like, OK, I'm happy here. <sighs> and I feel like this 1111 and this Hierophant here is giving you, you may be seeing 1111 on the clock. This is Lionsgate. It's a time to, that you'll be more connected to the spiritual realms to receive information to receive clarity and the breakthroughs and healing this is the ace of swords so once you have your clarity and information and conversation are you still going to be held back and
Don't let indecision hold you back. Don't be overthinking. I think you think this could be positive thinking. Like, I need to take my time because I have I don't have all the information. So I need all the information before I move forward. But I feel like this is a gate that's closing. Okay. It'll peak on A8, obviously. Hmm. So if this is your true love, I mean, I feel like you've got to speak up and say something um, with the page of cups. You've got to quickly take action, swift actions needed. And then you've got to take action, send a message or something. They need to do this with you. Maybe you feel like they have until the 10th of October and then guess what? That's it. I'm done with them. So they're needing to take quick action and message you here. OK, so if somebody has messaged you, don't overthink it. OK, be clear, be honest, um, be communicative. Um, a lot of the time, most things just need communication. Six of Wands and you'll be successful. They'll take notice of you here now. They'll say, OK, yeah, I see what you've done there. I understand you. I respect your boundaries. Um, I'm not going to overthink. I will communicate better. This is success. Overcoming a lesson here. Somebody's taking notice of you. Somebody's paying attention to you here. Um, but yeah, it kind of feels like that this could be like a deadline for them. Are they coming forward or not? It feels like a deadline for them. I feel like if they come forward and take action, they successfully complete this spiritual lesson. If they don't, they'll get stuck in the same loop, but you will face a new lesson. You'll move on to a new soulmate here, um, a new love interest maybe with the Page of Cups here. Okay, you'll get clarity either way. You'll get clarity that no action is action. It's like it speaks volumes. You know, it speaks volumes. You have a breakthrough like, huh, they still haven't come forward before my deadline. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. And this is the six of ones. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward very positively. I waited. I did my thing. And it feels like that because of this um, four of ones, eleven, eleven. Like, I've seen the signs, I followed the signs, now it's time to continue to trust my instincts and um, trust in the divine here that what's meant for me will never pass me by and gaining that clarity there. So your soulmate here needs to take swift action. Okay, Aquarius, I hear you loud and clear. They need to act now. I'll just let you go. Good luck, guys.